I think it was probably 2017, uh, somewhere around 2017, I was, um, you know, going through just kind of the fitness routines and motions that I had um, been working on for, you know, the last, I don't know, 10 years of my life. I, whatever, kind of always been a gym guy. Um, I'm 32 years old, by the way, I have couple kids, a dad now, but you know, at that time I was just, uh, a single, you know, single, I think, well, actually, obviously I had a girlfriend, Julia, who's now my wife. And I had just been kind of going through the gym, um, motions that I had been using for the previous decade or, or, or even longer, you know, when I was, uh, in my late teens and going through college, you know, I would just kind of go in the gym, you know, hit the weights. I did some running, uh, had done a triathlon when I was, um, I think I was 20 or 21 when I did my first, my, my first triathlon. And so, um, you know, with that, I, when I was at, when I was at college, you know, I would just do the things that kind of work to kind of give me this, you know, you just want to, everyone wants to feel good. And that's kind of, you know, you feel good, you're putting on muscle, um, you're trying to kind of just develop your physique, that sort of thing. And so, you know, I was, doing that for a while. And then all of a sudden I kind of got to a point where I'm like, what's next? Like, what else is there? You know, like I'm starting to look at kind of the next chapter of my life, which is probably, you know, being a dad and, um, a husband and, um, and it's like, what, what, what do we, what's kind of the next training method for that phase of life? And so through that process, I, I would say that I was probably kind of just bored of uh, my old training routines. I, I discovered Ironman, you know, the whole, you know, swim, bike, run for 140 miles and um, did two of those. Uh, while I was doing Ironman training, I was also really interested in powerlifting and just getting stronger and strength. That was kind of a new thing that was becoming, you know, interesting to me. And um, so... I did that for probably five years, really. It was a lot of cycling, swimming, running, and uh, powerlifting. And so um, that led me to, uh, I would say, the summer of 2020 or 2021. I think it was 2021. Yeah, it had been 2021. When I was like, hey, I want to try and kind of push myself in the strength category and just kind of see where this can go. And so anyways, a brother-in-law of mine and myself, we decided to kind of just challenge ourselves and do a strength uh, training build for a year and just see um, how much we can, how many gains we can, you know, just, I guess, see how much we can grow in a year. And so that went good and it was a lot of fun. And um, that was July of 2021, um, or no, July of 2022, and that ended. And then from there, I jumped into doing an Ironman two months later in September of 2022. Um, Obviously, going from powerlifting to Ironman, I did a lot of things probably wrong that, you know, I've kind of been learning lessons now. And so um, after that Ironman, I would say that I probably was uh, pretty unhealthy. Actually, I know I was pretty unhealthy. There was... Um, you know, I was just kind of whatever my gut health wasn't super great, you know, during the Ironman process, you're really consuming a lot of carb heavy, um, a lot of carb heavy products, which don't always, you know, don't always sit too well with your, um, with your GI system. And just in the world of triathlon and Ironman also, there's kind of this untalked about topic, which is GI health and how, you know, a lot of people are really pushing the envelope in that sport. And with that, you're really kind of putting a lot of stress on the digestive system. And so, um, you know, a lot of people do have GI issues. And, you know, I'd say that I was, um, I was one that was sort of on the backside of a couple Ironmans with some GI issues. And um, so that forced me to start looking at like, my nutrition, what's going on here? Why is this happening? You know, I'm 30, too. Like I should be pretty healthy. I just did an Ironman or so I thought, and I didn't necessarily feel, um, super healthy. And so, um, that forced me to start looking at, you know, what I'm consuming and how can I optimize my nutrition? And so 
all of the end of last year, I was just taking a closer look at just the nutrition aspect of things, really kind of paying attention to what I'm eating, when I'm eating, how much, that sort of thing. Calories, portions, you know, meal timing, how big of a meal are you eating when you first eat? When are you, when, when are you first eating? You know, are you fasting? Are you not fasting? And, you know, that really kind of opened my eyes to just how powerful and important nutrition is. Um, I learned through that process that, you know, when you get really consistent with your nutrition, your energy levels also kind of follow along and they become super consistent. And so that, um, you know, that kind of got me excited about like, how far can I go with this nutrition thing? And so um, end of the year, first of the year, this last year, 2022, 23, I decided that I'm just going to take, you know, my nutrition to sort of the uh, place that I've wanted to go with it for a long time, which is just no no gluten, no junk food, no sugar, um, just whole foods only and, you know, a lot of water, um, really kind of focusing on optimizing hydration. And so um, with that, I've been doing that now for about 90 days and it's like, you know, I'll never consider going to another way of eating. Like I'll never consider going to another form of nutrition. It's just the quality of life, the energy, the consistency, the drive, just the feel good is something that I've never had before. Like I've never felt this good consistently for this many days um, as I have since I decided to really dial up and be super picky with my nutrition. So along that road of optimizing my, my nutrition, um, I have found more and more... Um, energy to train, I guess, is just the way to say it. And so with that, I started doing, you know, 45 minutes a day of cardio and 45 minutes a day of weights. And, you know, for the first time in my life, I've been putting the two together every single day, I haven't taken a day off in like 40 ish plus days. And, you know, I feel the best I've ever felt. Um, you know, putting the nutrition in place, keeping the hydration on point training twice a day, with, that has helped me sleep so much better. Like I'm sleeping faster. You know, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about like sleep, sleep faster. He's like, you know, whatever. He, he, he said he slept six hours a day and people said they need eight. And he said, sleep faster. I think you can sleep faster. And the way you sleep faster is by optimizing heart rate variability and resting heart rate. And so like over the past three months, I would say that I have been sleeping faster. Like uh, there's times where I'm getting six hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, nine hours of sleep. And you know, I'm consistently able to train without, you know, going backwards. Like my energy has been on point and I've just been um, really reaping the, re the rewards of optimal nutrition and, and, and the training and the, and the rest. And so, you know, it's been, uh, it's been very eye opening and it's kind of got me to this new place with, um, just kind of how I view fitness and really the long-term picture of fitness. And so um, that's kind of brought me to the where we are today. And earlier today, I was uh, messaging with um, some of Julia's brothers. And I just kind of said, like, you know, for the first time in my life, I would say that I have total kind of clarity and certainty about about fitness, just the topic of fitness and just the absolute value of it. And um it's really about health span and it's just about getting more better years. Like what are you doing today to, you know, prevent disease, to prevent decline, um, to maintain high levels of energy, to maintain just that feel good feeling that you have in your twenties, thirties, forties, you know, I'm sure some people have it naturally in their forties. Um, like what are the actions you're doing today? Cause there is actions you can be doing. And, you know, if you take them, and you're smart about it, you can really, you know, optimize your, your life long term. And, um, you know, I've, I've kind of thought for a long time, like, can you reduce your aging? And can you age 20 minutes or 20 years slower than an average person, if you take the action and you do the work required today to get there? And like, in the first 10, 10 to 15, 20 pages of this book, Outlive, Peter Atia, he talks about how, you know, you can literally take action to reduce your aging and slow your aging down by 20 years. That's two decades. Like you can literally feel and be aging like a 30 year old in your 50s. Like that's just crazy to me. Like, how is that possible? 
And so it's just gotten me just obsessed with this book because I'm now 32 and I f love how I'm feeling today. And I want to feel like this for the next 40 years, like if possible. And so like with his book, like he's saying, okay, if you're 50, you could age like you're in your thirties. Um, if you're 60, you could age like you're, you know, like you're 40. And so it's just kind of got me obsessed with this topic. And so I, you know, I just can't stop thinking and looking at it. And, um, I really just, um, am excited to dig into it further and just continue to explore it and 